come in right where that pick roll is, in front of it a little, grab some scoops, put it in front of the pick roll, right there. And then what we can do is after our guys can do a haul off, and we can haul off the material. And the idea okay, is to go deeper, but I'd like to open up a little channel so then you can oh, okay, see so where we're going to and then go back and forth. Okay, take that. So we have a dredge attachment <coughs> that this company is making that should be able to chop up all the plants, grab it, dredge it. If you could do that in one it's action. In one instead action. Instead of dumping it and exactly. then coming back again. Exactly. Do it all in one. So we have our other attachment where the weeds were getting clogged up with the 12 foot articulating arm and the dredge arm. That would save a lot of money so and a lot of time. We have another dredge attachment that can go on there yeah. and then we can put it back into our uh, shore socket system. Yeah. So here I'll show you. What we're trying to do is if we leave all the plants inside, they'll start to grow again yeah. and we've created a whole new line. Yeah. Now we may not have to remove anything. Other than maybe because a lot of this all has roots on it and the sediment. So as long as yeah. it gets back in it, it will regrow. But if we have to, then come back the next day, yeah. have our guys remove a lot of this material that is dropping right here. Yeah.
This is a picture of the lake after this initial cleaning had been done. This is another shot of the area after the cleaning was done.